fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust to the hearty Hayo Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains fought crime and criminals throughout the early western United States. It was his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, which brought law and order to the lawless frontier and made possible the winning of the West. No greater champion of justice can be found in the pages of history. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're on the trail of Paul Comer! Hello, Silver! Away! The idlers of Walnut Grove had gathered around young Hank Evans in front of the harness shop. The boy was standing beside a spirited Mustang. Every time the horse pawed the ground, Hank cringed with fear. The laughing crowd refused to let him leave. And before long, he was on the verge of tears. Go on, Hank! Let's see you ride the critter! Yeah, well, the best horse from this side of the pay car! Right in, come on, boy! Come on, come on kid! Climb the barn! Tell us what you can do! Leave me be, can't you? I don't want to ride him! I was scared to ride him! Leave me be! Please leave me be! <laughs> Suddenly, a buggy rounded the corner and headed down the main street toward the harness shop. Inside were a middle-aged woman and a much older man. When the driver saw what was going on, he cracked his whip, drove straight for the crowd, and yelled at the top of his lungs, Out of their way, you yellow skunks! I'll land the whole no good bunch of you! Get up, fella! Get up there! Run them loopers down! Get up! Pete, here I am, Pete. I'm a coming, I am. Watch out for the buggy. It's old Pete and Hank. Come on. They're going to run us down. Come on, let's get it. Come on. Oh, oh there. Oh. Run, you poor cat. Run. Let me lay this whip to you, and I'll show you what. What? Son, did they hurt you? Did they harm you, son? Oh, Ma. I could make you ride that horse, I'll bet you. Here, give me your hand. Climb up here beside me. It's time we was getting you home. <laughs> I can't help it if I'm as scared of horses, can I, Pete? Is it my fault? Is is it because I'm just a coward like they claim? Is it, Pete? Is it? <laughs> if I'd had the sense to be scared of horses when I was your age, I, I wouldn't be all crippled up like I am today. But, oh, but now, you... son, you forget all this. Of course you can't help it. We know that. Folks that make fun of you on account of it ain't worth paying no attention to. Oh, they make me so mad. I... Yellow bums. They was teasing me for most an hour... 
They wouldn't let me go. Now, son, just don't think of it no more. Put it right out of your mind. Gee, Ma, I try to, but... try hard. Uh Uh-huh. But sometimes... Sometimes I... Yes, son? Ma, sometimes I think I'd rather be dead. Oh, there, there. Now, what a silly way to talk. Peach, better go on. Yellow bums. Get up there. Get up. Get up. Dog blasted. Why can't I be laying this whip for them? Get up. Almost the same moment, many miles distant from Walnut Grove, a gang of outlaws were spurring their mounts after an Indian mounted upon a powerful paint horse. Get up, man. Come on. Get up. Get up. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Come on. Get up. Get up. Come on. Get up. Get up. It was a wild and desolate country, scarred by a jumble of ridges and rock wall canyons. No trail had ever marked this wilderness, but the Indian seemed to know exactly where he was going. He headed for a canyon whose entrance was smaller than most. And as the outlaw leader guessed his purpose, he shouted to his men, Boys, we've got him! That's a fine canyon he's riding for. Now he can't get away from us. He'll try to hold us off there. We'll ride him down. Throw some more lead at the farmers. I think I wing him. He's still going. I know I hit him. I sent him grab his saddle. Come on, fellas. Get up there. Get up there. Come on. We're gaining on him, boys. Take part of the canyon now. Where are your ponies? Come on, get up there. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Hey, get up there. Pull. Get up. Look there. Get up there. Pull up, fellas. Get up Pull up. What the? Pull up, I tell you, quick. Whoa, 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 Look at that masked man way up there. Hmm? Well, the Lone Ranger. Ranger. Then, then that must have been Tarnal we was chasing. I don't like the looks of this. And neither do I. Back, fellas. Swing your horses around, head back. Hurry. Come on. Get up there. Come on. Come on. For all we know, he's got a posse waiting for us in there. Get up, boy. Get up. Get up. Get up. Hey, right, fellas. Get up. Get along, boy. Come on. Get up. 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 Doggone. The canyon. He had blasting powder set in the entrance to the canyon. It was a trap. How do lesser chase him a purpose? If we'd rode any farther, we'd been inside there with no way of getting out. They'd have had the whole bunch of us. The sun hadn't struck the mass fella just right so as I could see him. We'd been sitting in jail instead of 24 hours. Boys, we're leaving this district and we're leaving Prado. All right, yeah. come, on. come on. Get, get up, up, man. Get up, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. When he saw the outlaws turn and ride away, the Lone Ranger descended to the floor of the canyon where his great horse Silver was waiting. He mounted and rode for nearly a mile until he reached a brush-covered hillside that concealed the secret exit by which Tonto had planned to escape from the canyon. Then, a few minutes later... Kimo Sabe! Hi! They saw me, Tonto. They got away. Uh, oh, oh, Scott. The one thing I feared, that ledge was the only place in which I could light the fuse. But it didn't offer good cover. Oh, Tonto, no. Once in there, it wouldn't have mattered if they had discovered this exit. One of us could easily have kept them prisoner. Oh. I th- Tonto, you're wounded. No, I hit not bad. Here, get down. Let me have a look at that. We're right. Catch him out, Law. Wound not bad. Get down. No. Not bad. Tonto, it's bad enough so that you won't ride again for a couple of days. Oh, me all right. Sorry, old friend, but you're not. You couldn't last a dozen miles in the saddle in this condition. But outlaw... You may get... camp right here. Outlaw, get away. Let them. I can always pick up the trail again sooner or later. Uh... But where would I find another friend as loyal as you, Kimosabe? We take no chances. We do no riding until you're well.
Bull Kohler and his outlaw gang did not stay in the district. Each day found them farther from the scene of their narrow escape. Until at last they arrived in the open cattle country and... Oh, oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh. Bull, what are we going to do now? This is bad country for us. Too doggone much law around. I say we ought to cut south and head for the border till we know for sure the Lone Rangers give up. Yes, so do I. That's where you're wrong. Huh? That mask fella ain't the law. The Rio don't mean nothing to him. He just as soon cross over to get us as not. Mm-hmm. But on the other side of the border, he couldn't call on the law to help him. If that hombre can't get somebody to help him, he does without it. You mean you'd be scared of just him and the Redskin? Well, Sometimes it pays to be scared. It was just the two of them back there in the hills, weren't there? Yeah, but and there I... were a dozen of us. But if you hadn't seen the mask fell in time, we'd have been caught just the same. And that's just one of his tricks. Besides which, the black caballeros over south. Even the masked men are pards. Ah, uh, we'll do better here. There's no place to hide out. <laughs> no? Well, is there bull? Look, boys. If you was the masked man, would you figure fellas like us would choose a district like this to hide out in? Well, Of course uh... you wouldn't. You'd look for us to head for the border like Jug just suggested. I don't just savvy what you're getting at. You don't, eh? Uh... Well, I'll tell you. When you want to make a good hideout... Head for the last place anybody'd expect outlaws to go. Like here? Just so. Huh. We're here. But if you figure I feel safe on account of it, you're loco. <laughs> ain't heard the rest of it yet. No? We ain't only stopping here in the cattle country, but we're going to put up all snug and comfortable in the ranch house I know of. You mean you got friends here? Uh-uh. Well, then how This is... ranch house I'm thinking of is a place where there's just a kid, his ma and a... Kind of handy man that stays with them all year round. What did Ball you... roundups finish? So they ain't kept on a crew. Kid ain't but fifteen or sixteen. That handy man is so old and crippled up he couldn't make trouble for a stove in cat. Mm, that's where we're going. Right. And just take over. Right again. But I who'd don't look understand. for us there, huh? <laughs> come on, let's get there and make ourselves to home. Get up there. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Mrs. Evans stood in the open doorway of her kitchen and called to her son and old Pete. Pete? Hank? Yes, sir? What do you want, Ma? Supper's ready. Come and get it. Hear that, Pete? Come on, you betcha. Well, what were you two looking at? We saw some horsemen. Horsemen? A whole bunch of them. Uh, I don't reckon they're stopping here, though. But likely waters that have been laid off from one of them outfits over north. <laughs> Ma'am, what do you got cooking? It smells so good. <laughs> Just a stew, Pete. You and Hank sit down. I'll fill your plate. Go ahead, son. Uh-huh. Gee, I'm so hungry I could... Say, them fellas are stopping. Look. Yeah. My, if they want victuals... Tell them to ride on. You can't be expected to feed all them, ma'am. They're coming to the back door. Uh, you, you keep a chair, Hank. I, I'll see what they want. Howdy, boys. What can I do for you? Get back inside. What? Get back inside, mister, before I blow you to glory. Hey, Ma'am, you just stay where you are. Ma, what's the matter? This is the kid you mentioned, Boo. Uh-huh. Jug, go on back and take the horses somewhere where they can't be seen. Close the door. Right. Hold up. Not exactly that, ma'am. Just come to visit for a while. No, get out of here. You can't get me. Oh, you, you hit me. You Mister, you better oh. behave or you'll get the same. I'll show Take you. Take the old glutes the... gun, boys. Get, get, get back. Now, stay away, dog on you. Let me, get back. Get out. Leave me alone now. Hey, hey, hey give me back my heart. Shut wind. up. You, you I said shut gun. up. All of you. Now then. We're here. We're staying here. And while we stay, you'll take our orders. Recollect that, and maybe you won't get hurt. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Thank you.
to continue our story. Several days passed after the encounter with Bull Kohler's gang before Tonto was able to ride again. And when the Lone Ranger and the Indian left their camp in the hills, they found the outlaw's trail hard to follow. When they reached the cattle country, they lost it completely and... This district is too well traveled, Tonto. Unless we have a stroke of luck, we won't pick up the sun until they're out of it again. Where you think and go? To the border, perhaps. Oh, at least that's the logical place for them to head. With Bull leading them, however, it's difficult to tell. He's shrewd. That's why he's dodged the law all these years. He never does what anyone expects. Not right. For all we know, they may have doubled back and be riding for the hills we left. Uh Uh-huh. They may have broken up and scattered, making their way across country, posing as cowboys. Meeting again somewhere we don't know about. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, they may have done none of those things. They might have stayed right in this neighborhood. It's possible that Boulder's friends among the ranchers would hide them out. Then them get away? No, they won't escape. Well, how find them? By trying everything we can think of. If one thing fails, we'll eliminate that and go on to another. We'll catch up to them again if it takes us the next 12 months. Uh-huh. We decided to go after them, Tonto. I resolved we'd never stop until they were safely behind bars. And we won't. Mm, what we do now? The only thing we can do. What that? We couldn't distinguish the trail here, so there's no use looking for it. We can only hope they stayed together and that someone saw them. Ah. Uh-huh. Which means we'll have to make inquiries at each ranch as we come to it. Uh-huh. That's not hard. Not hard, Kimasabi, but it'll take time. Uh-huh. So the faster we get about it, the better. There's a ranch ahead of us, Tonto. Come, we'll see what they have to tell us. Ah. Uh-huh. Get them up, Scout. Get them up. Come on, Silver. Come on, old fellow. Meanwhile, the outlaws were making themselves thoroughly at home in the Evans Ranch House. Neither Hank, nor his mother, nor Pete were permitted to leave the place alone. A member of the gang who was unknown to the law went to town when supplies were needed, and passerbys were turned away in a manner that did not arouse their suspicions. The outlaws enjoyed themselves, but then, on the other hand, young Hank was very desperate. Ma, careful, son. Stand away from the stove. Ma, listen. Yes? I've made up my mind to something, Ma. When it comes dark, I'm going to make a break for it. I want to get to town somehow. Oh, son, you mustn't. Oh, but why, if I what don't... What are you two whispering about? Why, uh... Ain't you been told enough not to try scheming things without our knowing it? Yeah, don't! You come with me. And ma'am, you tend to your cooking and don't get fool notions. Try any tricks and I'll be the worst for you. Please, let me go. You're hurting me. <laughs> you skunks will pay for this, mister. Dirk! Yeah, boy? Take this old fool outside and make him chop some kindling. Sick of hearing him hollering all the time. Mm-hmm. The kindling's been chopped. He done it before breakfast. Yeah. And bust him one if he opens that yap of his again. <laughs> sure. And ma'am, you hustle up with that grub, Savvy. You stall around any longer and your kid will get another lamb basting like he got yesterday. Bull! Uh, Hi, Bull, come quick. Eh? Bull, look up the trail there. The masked man. The masked man and Tonto. Well, I'll be... I'm coming here. That means they know where we are. They're coming after us. Yeah. If they are... I... Now, now, hold it, fellas. Wait. By thunder, they don't know we're here. They can't. But what are you... But they're heading here, ain't they? Hey, what? idiots, would they be riding up in plain sight like that if they suspicion we was anywhere around? No, they wouldn't. Hey, look at them. Not even trying to hide themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, be By it. golly, Bull, you're right. You bet I'm right. By Joe, all of you, get your irons ready. Get back from the windows. This is just a chance we've been waiting for. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. You, kid, come here. You, you ain't going to shoot them fellas, are you? You ain't, are you? What's it to you? They won't have a chance. <laughs> You're a bright kid. They're gone right, they won't have a chance. Unless you do like I tell you, you won't need it. Well, what are you You're doing? answering the door. Whatever they want, you ask them to step in. And keep this in mind. Huh? One peep out of you to warn them, and you'll be the first to get blasted. Now get over by the door and wait for them to knock. All right, boys, stand ready. Hey, 
Oh, oh, there's Silver. Oh, it's Calvo. Oh, 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 Well, Tonto, we'll see what we can learn here. Uh, we haven't had much luck so far. No one's seen a sign of them. Maybe then uh, come this way. Perhaps. Wait. What matter? I thought I saw someone watching us from the window and draw back quickly. Oh. I... Tonto, don't you feel something strange about this place? Mm, me no savvy. Maybe we'd be wiser to have a look around first before we announce ourselves. Uh. I... Ah, nonsense. It's most likely just my imagination. Anyway, we're here. Whoever's inside knows it. Come. Uh, we'll... Watch out! They're going to shoot! Watch out! Hey, Boom! Yeah. Down, Tonto, down! down. Uh. We can't stay here. Uh, them killers are here. This way. Drop over the side of the force, but keep firing. We'll give them a chance to make a break for it. Uh, Come. There. Tonto, get to the other side of the house. I'll watch this side. They're in there, and we have to keep them there. Uh, Amigo. Ma! Where are you, Ma? Mr. Pete and Ma never got out. What's that? I thought they was right behind me, but they wasn't. Look, they're still in the house. was seen that the Lone Ranger and Tonto had found shelter, the outlaws stopped firing and took stock of the situation. Jug, why didn't you get that kid when he yelled out? I, I never figured he'd dare. And I didn't either. They got away from us. Where's Pete and his ma? Uh, there they are. Huh? They're in the kitchen behind the stove. I seen them trying to follow the kid and I headed them all. Good thing you used your head that much anyhow. We'll have to use them to get out of here. Use them for hostages. Dirk, go bring them in here. Sure. That was the masked man. He seen you when he started past the door. You almost got him. Go ahead, get them too. Uh, and get winged? Oh, no, you get it. You scared? Bull, any of us try to reach the kitchen, we have to pass by that door. And we can't close it on the count of it opens the wrong way. It opens outwards. We can't reach it. If we don't get Pete and the kids, Ma, we're trapped. Yeah, well, then we're trapped. No, we ain't. Hmm? Just wait till dark. Then we can grab them without being seen. <laughs> Also thought of that possibility. Hank. Yeah, mister? Come here, but keep out of sight. What is it? Hank, you know your mother and Pete are still inside. You know that we can keep Bull from reaching them as long as it stays light enough to see. But in just a couple of hours... It'll it's... be getting dark. Yes. Then you'll have to ride to town and find the sheriff. You'll just have time. I can't. But why... And neither can Tonto. If either one of us leaves, it'll give those fellows a chance to escape. Tonto has to watch that side of the house while I watch this. Hank, you'll have to go. Take Tonto's no. horse... No, I... I can't do that. Don't ask me. I just can't. Hank, what's the matter? Why can't you? I, I just can't, that's all. Don't ask me to. Please don't. I don't understand. I'm, I'm just a yellow coward. What's this? I'm, I'm a scared of horses, that's what. Oh, I've tried and tried, and I just can't do it. But why, Hank? A boy like you brought up on a ranch where there are horses Once all... Once I, I seen a wild horse kill my brother. Oh. And, and after that, one threw me, and I was almost killed. And that explains it. When, when, I, when I try to ride him, I... I just get all twisted up inside. I just can't. But this time you must. No, 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 I, I just... Here, come along. We'll get back out of sight. This'll do. Yes, no. No, no, I just Look can't. Here, lad. Please, no. Listen to me. If I could go, I would. But you know that I can't. And more depends upon this than the capture of those outlaws. Your mother's freedom depends upon it. If those fellows escape, take her with them, it'll be days before she's freed again. Please, please, no. I want to, but I can't. Here. Up with you. No, no, I can't. All right, Scout, I'm scared. get going. I just can't. I can't go. Dusk approached and slowly deepened, and all the while the outlaws had been waiting the first opportunity to slip past the open door to the kitchen where Pete and Mrs. Evans cowered behind the protection of the iron stove. Several attempts had been made that had abruptly ended when the Lone Ranger's bullet sent the outlaws scurrying for cover. But finally... Hold it, fellas. Listen. We can't get past that door now. We never can. It's as dark as it's ever going to get. We've got to make it. Yeah. 
But they're like I tell you. How's that? This time I'm going to try it. As soon as I start, you fellas get to whooping and firing and making all the noise you can. Try to keep that mask on, raise attention. Once I'm past there, we're as good as out of here. All, all right. right. Mm-hmm. All right, here goes. Go on, make some noise. Hey. <laughs> Hey, the sheriff! Yeah. They're rushing us! Bull, where are you? Bull! They're on the pack, too. Place is surrounded. Hold on there, conjure violence, or we'll pay one lot of you. You're covered. Try to make a fight of it, and you'll end on Coot Hill. We're ten to your one. Oh, look uh, with your yeah. hands. You will. Oh, no, no, I give run. up. I give up. I don't shoot. My hands smashed. It isn't, but it ought to be. Hank, where's my boy? Hank, where are you? Here I am, Ma. Here I am. Sheriff, get these fellas out of here. Right. All right, boys, round them up and make a march. That's the first to run for it. All right, all right. All right. Gosh, I, I never expected to get out of this alive. Stranger, how'd the sheriff get here? Which one of you rode for him? You and the redskin. Neither. Huh? Then how'd he get Tell here? Tell them, Hank. Well, I rode to town. What's that? Hank, you say you did. He did, Pete. Hank, it wasn't so bad after all, was it? Gosh, at first I was scared stiff, but, but Scott was traveling so fast I didn't dare drop off. And? Well, then... Then all at once, I wasn't the least bit scared no more. Honest, I wasn't. It it was just like I'd never been scared. And that's something for you to remember in the future, son. Yeah? Before you're much older, you'll learn that a man meets many things that frighten him. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? <laughs> but face them down, and you'll find they're never half so bad as they seem. <laughs> I could have told you that, Hank, if I'd thought of it. Gee, Ma, I just think... Nobody will ever be able to make fun of me again. Oh, it's wonderful, son. Gosh, wait till I show him in town. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.